What's up everyone, Tao here. Uh, welcome to my video. Uh, as you can see from behind me, here's a newly built Hackintosh I did a week ago. Uh, if you haven't checked out the video, please uh, go and check out the video. And if you like the video, please like it and share it. And if you want to subscribe it. Now in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you the uh, the benchmark performance of the uh, newly built Mini Hackintosh. As a reference, I'm going to compare the new one to uh, my existing system here and see how well the new system perform. Right, before we start, let me just have a quick recap of the uh, two system here and the, the setup. Uh, the new system uh, is running um, the i7-4790 and uh, the graphics card is the uh, EVGA GTX 1050 Ti. So in terms of the, uh, the benchmark, I'll be performing uh, the benchmark for the CPU and for the graphics card in both system. Uh, now my existing system is running on the uh, Core i7-6700 and the graphics card is the EVGA GTX 980. Uh, it's the aging graphics card, but it's performed really, really well still. Now, the two monitors here, um, on my right, uh, this one, it's connected to the new system, uh, which is the one on the top. And the one on the left is connected to my existing system, which is the one at the bottom. Uh, so without further ado, let's do the test. All right, just let me quickly run through the benchmark software I'll be using for the tests. Uh, I'll be using the uh, Geekbench 4. Um, Unigine Haven, Cinebench. All of these, they are free software to download. Uh, you can download the trial version on the website. Um, I will leave the download URL down in the description so you guys can download uh, if you wish to. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it. Now on the left, here's the uh, i7-67 uh, processor, a 16 gig of RAM. On the right, uh, i7-4790 and a 16 gig of RAM. Uh, on the newly built, the 4790 running at 3.6 or 3.59 gigahertz. On um, uh, my existing build, it's running at 3.41 gigahertz. Uh, let me just run the CPU test here. It's running, running. Now here we'll have a number uh, in the end of the test uh, but for now I'm just gonna fast forward um, okay that is well interesting but it's not very interesting now because the the both system um, I built yeah for the content creators so it's not really for gaming so therefore, the, um, the, the requirements of both builds will be different from, the, from you guys who actually want to play game with it. Uh, now, the, uh, the main concern or the main um, aim is to build something, uh, have better open CL or uh, better CUDA performance or the open GL performance um, because certain applications use a different a, um, a APIs or features or uh, whatever you call it, framework. Um, now the, 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 the new system I built for one of my friends, she's predominantly going to be using the Adobe uh, software. So they are using OpenCL, uh, CUDA and I think Metal as well. Um, the, uh, again, depends on the application. So on both graphics card, they should have pretty decent OpenCL performance. Uh, here we go. Um, especially, especially for the um, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, and believe the um, the Final Cut Pro also rely heavily on the OpenCL. So. I'm expecting 90 has much better performance here. Okay, let's let's go ahead and see how well both cards perform. So here's the result. Uh, if you guys have different opinion or if you guys have different cards, 
if you have a different test result, if you want to share, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay, next, let's do the uh, Cinebench. Okay, let's just run the CPU test. Here we go. Okay, uh, here's the result. Um, the 4790 scored 723 uh, on the CPU performance. The 6700 scored 797. Um, there is difference, but the performance is not very, very significant. So in terms of real world performance, you probably expect the same performance. Uh, now let's do the uh, OpenGL test uh, on the graphics card, see how well um, both perform. Let's do a test. Okay, the result in. Uh, the OpenGL performance on both cards are almost identical. Next, let's do the uh, Unigine Haven. Okay, let's do the benchmark. Here's the test result. Okay, uh, let's just have a quick look at the, for those people uh, who use the um, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, if you do want to build a system uh, specifically for video editing uh, or specifically using the Adobe um, software, uh, just let you guys to understand what um, Premiere Pro uh, use in terms of the hardware acceleration and then that give you an idea what to choose when you build a system uh, what graphics are you choose uh, you know in case yeah by the way this is the trial version of uh, Premiere Pro it can download so um, for the purpose of test, I just download a free trial, um, five days left. But if you do want to try it before you purchase, uh, you can do that. Now, here it is. Um, here's the uh, uh, hardware acceleration. Now, here's a video rendering and then playback. Here's the Mer Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration. Now, they got four options. One, it used uh, CUDA cores, which is the uh, NVIDIA, the own framework API. And uh, another one is the OpenCL. And the third one is the Metal. Now, Metal is uh, kind of specific to Apple framework. Um, it's getting popular and it's getting better. But in my opinion, for now, um, probably Stu CUDA is better, in my opinion. And the last one is just use the software engine. As you can see from the um, Premium Pro uh, CC 2017, um, they use uh, um, CUDA engine, OpenCL engine, and the Metal engine. If you do, true, if you do want to build a system yourself uh, for specifically uh, Adobe Premium Pro video editing, I probably will suggest you go with a newer Pascal architecture um, with a higher clock speed and more compute unit. Uh, so that actually will help your workflow uh, much, much better, make your workflow a lot smoother. So when you do the editing, you don't have to wait for a long time to, uh, to let the render finish. All right, um, some of you out there may ask um, what are those results for and what do they mean? Uh, well, in my opinion, if you're building a system, um, a Hackintosh a system on the budget, in my case, uh, the maximum budget I have is 700 pounds. So um, the system in terms of the, 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 the process and the graphics card and other components, the combination, in my opinion, it's spot on. Uh, it's, uh, it's not quite perfect, but to me, it's uh, more than adequate for most of the budget content creators um, out there. Um, plus, if you do want to have uh, higher performance components, you have to increase your budget. Uh, if you're willing to, great. Uh, you have so many options out there. Uh, you can choose from. Um, it's just a matter of how much you want to spend, I guess. 
All right, guys, uh, this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's only one thing missing in this video is the AMD graphics card. I personally really, really want to test the uh, AMD graphics card uh, compared to the uh, NVIDIA card, but unfortunately, I don't have any AMD card in hand. However, if any one of you want to send me AMD card, I'm happy to test it. Um, having that said, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please click on the like and share with others. And if you want to keep up to date, please subscribe. However, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Uh, well, hopefully I will do more video like this in the future. Maybe when I got my AMD card. See you in the next video.